Uh, it's an honor and a pleasure to be actually opening this KubeCon. I never thought I'd be able to say that, but my name is Omri Gazit. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Asserto. Asserto is a cloud-native authorization company, uh, and we produce uh, an open source project called Topaz that uses OPA really heavily, uh, the open policy agent. So we care a lot about secure software supply chains for OPA policies. Um, first, why should you care? You know, what are these OPA policies? Well, these days in the cloud native world, you use policies for a lot of different things. For example, Kubernetes admission control uh, through the uh, open source project Gate Gatekeeper. Uh, use them to uh, make sure that your config files obey a policy through a project called ConfTest. Uh, you can use OPA as a general decision engine as well. Um, if you've never seen the OPA site, it looks like this. Um, it's really pretty. It's got Viking, uh, Vikings all over. And then you can also use it for uh, projects like Topaz, which is an open source project that Asserto has, um, which is basically a, um, ooh, I guess I can't get to that screen. Uh, it's an open source project for authorization for APIs and applications. Um, now, what do you need uh, a secure software supply chain for? Well, OPA policies are an important application artifact. And so you want to be able to uh, you know, build them into immutable images. You want to be able to sign them. But the native format for OPA policies is actually a tarball, which doesn't lend itself well to any of these things. Right? So you really want to be able to package them up, just like you do application code, into an OCI image. And so you can do that you know, using the Open Container Initiative. You want to be able to have a Docker-like workflow uh, for these policies. So you want to be able to build them and tag them and push them and pull them just like Docker containers. And so we have a, uh, an open source project called the Open Policy Containers for that, OPCR for short. That's a CNCF um, uh, sandbox project. Uh, and finally, you want to be able to sign uh, these containers and verify the signatures. Again, just like you can any other container. You do that using Sixdoor. So a bunch of different open source uh, 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 projects to be able to do all these things. And so now I will actually uh, you know, demonstrate what that uh, workflow looks like. Now, of course, you can put this all in CI CD, but I'm going to try to do this uh, using a real demo as opposed to just some gists uh, to increase the degree of difficulty here. So let's start with, uh, let's see, uh, the ability to um, create a new policy from a template. Uh, so we're using the policy CLI to do that here. Um, then I am going to build a policy, uh, build that you know, from the local source directory. Uh, and this looks, works just like Docker build. Uh, I can basically look at all the files uh, that got created by the template. I can uh, look at all the images uh, that I have on my local, um, you know, local uh, system here. And then finally, I can actually push that to a container registry, in this case, the GHCR container registry. So you know, building uh, OPA policies into container images, super simple. The next piece of it is, of course, uh, being able to sign it. Uh, and so, you know, I have just, uh, you know, for all of this stuff, but just again, showing you what to do. Um, it's literally as simple as just uh, signing using cosign uh, this container image that I'm passing uh, here, you know, as the one that I just created. And then I can verify the signature again using cosign. Uh, and so here I'm verifying that the, uh, that the container that I signed uh, basically has that same signature um, you know, using the, the public key file that I created with Cosign. And lastly, if you want to see how to use these things, OPA speaks uh, OCI natively now. We have that integrated into the OPA main project, so all you have to do is create a new config uh, that has uh, basically uh, specifies the resource uh, as a, an OCI image instead of a tarball. Uh, and lastly, if you want to configure something like Topaz, we actually have uh, in Topaz a very easy way to configure uh, Topaz using a uh, command line. Uh, this will just basically create uh, a config file with that uh, policy. And I can even go bring up a console uh, for Topaz, uh, go to the authorizers, uh, and check out all the modules here. And there they are, uh, OPA modules. So that's basically all I had. Um, 
I'm Omri. Uh, you can find me on all the socials. You can uh, visit the OPCR booth uh, on the pavilion. Uh, there is a, a booth for that as a project. And finally, uh, stop by our booth M29 if you want one of these cool Axel Auto shirts uh, or just to talk about authorization. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.